Hi guys, in this episode we're going to go through the conclusion of the Wenhao Duplicator i3 review. Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. Um, in this video I'm going to go through the part 2 of the Wenhao Duplicator i3 review. Um, you might have seen my previous video which I'll put up here. Now the unboxing went really smooth. Uh, it was very, very well packed. There was a nice um, watertight bag around the printer which would keep all the moisture out in case, you know, got condensation or whatever in shipping on the planes. And I was really impressed with the overall quality of the printer build, the build quality itself. It's nice sturdy aluminium, I think, or steel frame. Very nice printer. Um, now I'm gonna go through some of the things which I liked and then I'm gonna go through some of the things which I didn't like. Okay, first up, the price, $3.99 US, and I believe that's delivered to your door. I don't think you can find anything else for that price that's gonna deliver to this kind of quality. If you were to get a uh, cheap kit off AliExpress or something like one of those kind of sites, I don't think you're gonna get anything remotely to this standard or this quality. From box to print, took me 10 minutes. Um, basically, I, all I had to do was put in uh, four, four bolts either side of the Z gantry and then um, just a quick level and I was off and printing. Now, this was my first print. I'll put a big picture up here. Um, this is the AOK -OK hand and that came out mint, like perfect. And that was just straight off the, um, out of the box, on the table, quick level, first print. No tests, nothing, it just worked. The next print I did was Batman. Batman. I'll put a big picture over here. Um, that also worked really, really well. Now these were PLA prints, so that was that was awesome. Now this one, picture up here, was ABS. Um, there was a little bit of temp, temp fluctuation once we got above the 230 degrees Celsius, but it was only, I jiggled around about three degrees uh, up and bottom of the, the target temperature, but I think that worked out well. The black line you can see here was just a bit of boogers on the hot end, so I should have really done that again. Um, so the, qu the print quality itself is just awesome, straight out of the box. I haven't done any mods to the printer, it's just as is. Um, it's got a nice 8 inch uh, bed, a uh, heated bed, so that'll allow you to print PLA, um, PETG and some of the other filaments. Um, I haven't had a chance to print wood on this, but I can't see why it wouldn't work. I have printed ABS, PETG, and um, PLA. Um, from what I hear, it'll print anything you throw at it pretty much. But if you're gonna go for an abrasive filament like stainless or iron, you might need to invest in a hardened nozzle because like with all printers, that'll just um, blow out your hot end in no time. Uh, as I said before, the printer is extremely well built, very stable, uh, was excellently packed, the display is a nice large large display, really easy to use with a really good menu system. I'll put some close-ups here. Um, I found that pretty cool actually, it was really nice to use. And the uh, MK10 hot end worked really well. Okay, things I didn't like. Now, the manual leveling can be a little bit tedious, but that's the same with most printers. Um, I found a couple of times when I was printing that I just couldn't get it level and no matter what I did it just wouldn't level. But I noticed that the X gantry was slightly askew. So if you do get one of these and you have that issue, just get out a ruler and measure your uh, X axis distance from the um, heated bed on both sides or actually probably from the table so make sure that it's nice and flat. And then just make sure that they're both level on both sides and then you shouldn't have an issue. Another thing I didn't like was that the belts on the x-axis rub on the actual extruder assembly at the back. Angus talked about this in his review. Um, I don't think that should actually happen of any printer. That would have only been a five minute fix in the factory just to mill out a couple of mil off that block to stop the rubbing, but it is what it is. Um, and the only other thing I can say which is a negative about this printer is that the fan in the actual control box is a little noisy. That's about it. Would I recommend this printer? Definitely. Two thumbs up. Now, um, in Australia, Aldi have just come out with these cocoon printers. 
Uh, they actually imported them via another company, but I have on closer inspection noticed that they are a direct, um, uh, not even a copy, it is a Wanhao duplicator i3, just with different branding on there, and they, they're in a bigger manual, I believe, in the box. But um, yeah, they're the same printer. So if you're in Australia and you've got access to an Aldi store, I highly recommend you grab one of these. I believe they're $4.99 Australian, which is pretty awesome. I can't even, you can't get an i3 in for that. Uh, the duplicator i3 uh, with shipping a duplicator i3 is going to run you about 550 and ld selling these for 499 big thank you to my patrons on patreon you'll be seeing this video early um, it's one of the benefits for being a patron if you'd like to support the channel please consider signing up to patreon and then um, just a dollar or two a month goes a long way i've also got amazon affiliate links um, they'll be below so what that means is you just do your shopping as normal. So anything you buy on Amazon that you would normally buy anyway, they just throw a, a small percentage over to the channel uh, just for the referral pretty much. Um, please like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're looking at getting one of these, highly recommend you do so. It's a great printer. And um, please subscribe if you're not already. Uh, just a reminder that the 5,000 sub uh, subscriber contest is coming up really soon. So the quicker we get to that 5K mark, uh, the quicker we'll be able to announce the winner for that contest. All right, guys, thanks again. See you on the next video.